So we had a pretty big day today. We left uh, Wallambilla this morning, went into Roma, had a look at the mud races. Pretty exciting. And done a whole 51 Ks. Made it to this um, other campground. Don't know how the hell you pronounce it. Bungie Walragori Creek? Something like that. Just trying to turn the camera around and see if we can um, show you. Yeah, so that's where we are. Heading north. A few heaps of caravans. They're all heading north too. Fair bit of water in the creeks too, but you notice um, when we come up here, the trucks seem to get bigger. They can add an extra trailer once they leave Roma. So we'll see if we can get some drone footage of a triple going down the road. Three trailers. Thousands of balls have been thrown down, tapping the wild That's weird. <laughs> oh, look, Mum. Oh my god, this is so warm. It's crazy. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. So we've just come over to Mitchell's uh, Neil Turner Weir. You can hear plenty of water flowing on it. Couple of turtles. Aussies. Twenty Ks west of um, Mitchell. Mitchell. Road train smash. Tambo truck, wild and woolly. A lot of horseshoes on it. It's driving into some rain south of um where are we? <laughs> Tambo? No, we went through Tambo. Well, we're not south, we're east. Because we're heading west. See how the sun's setting in the west? Uh, we're heading towards Blackall. We're driving into a rain cloud.
Here we are at Bar Calden Railway Station. And directly at the front we've got this. It's the Tree of Knowledge. There's actually a bird in there. How pretty is it? an actual couple of birds up in the tree. About 80 k's out of Winton left from Barcaldon this morning. Grounds are getting drier for about the last 20 k's we've noticed. And this is the view the whole way. we are just rocking into downtown Winton where it's going to be home for the next, I don't know, six days? <laughs> what noise does it make? Stop. Stop. <laughs> That's why they put it out here, away from everybody. So one thing Winton's famous for is its flies. So they're saying today they're going to be extreme. So far, so good. Dinosaur. Oh yeah, that thing's anorexic. Anjo. Dinosaur Canyon. Huge. Didn't your parents let you have a sand pit when you were a kid, Bray? Stop talking to me so much. Stop talking. What have you found? Such a dinosaur. The dinosaurus. The boxer has the rest of the concrete in it. Bray, you know what he's coming Yeah. What do you found, Bray? Stiplodosophus. What? A stiplodosophus. <laughs> I don't know. I think. <laughs> wow. A bit close to the edge now. She's. It's a long drop. Can you not jump it, Bray? Can you not jump it? How cool is that? Not only the dinosaurs that they breed big out here, have we go to that little sucker.
Queen's Own Museum responded to his photos and said, Congratulations, you've found yourself a dinosaur bone. Simple as that. After that first bone was found and David figured out what he was looking for, he went on his property and found bits laying everywhere. Ended up collecting sort of a slab of all of these bones. So we invited Queen's Own Museum out to his property to have a look at the collection. Queen's Own Museum thought they'd be out here for a quick afternoon and then they'd never be back again. Uh, but they ended up staying for about two weeks. Sauropods are all of the long neck, long tail guys on our logo. Pretty well 95% of what we find around Winton are sauropod bones. Down the bottom is a claw from Banjo. He's the friendly statue at the front of reception that I'm sure you saw on your way in there. Uh, so it's one of his little toe claws. So those two bones are kind of self-explanatory. It's easy enough to figure out. Sometimes, however, it is not that simple. Might not look like it, but this top photo is actually two vertebrae that are kind of fused together. So sometimes that black soil can crush, move our bones around, turn them into jigsaw pieces. And this was uh, just after Spunky the end of Permian We're at the lookout, the Dinosaur Canyon. It is huge. It's amazing views though. Are you talking to it, Mum?